A very very good morning to all of you. I welcome you all of you on the behalf of Mahatma Gandhi Vidya Mandir's Arts, Commerce and Science College, Malaga City. On the occasion of Ozone Day, we are camped together over here, and I welcome you all. And first and the foremost, I would like to mention that our college is celebrating the Golden Jubilee year. So I would like to congratulate the governing body. principal staff and all the students of mahatma gandhi vidya mandir arts commerce and science college maligaon city now i would like to welcome all the participants keynote speaker our beloved vice principal dr shakeb ahmed sir our nac coordinator and dean of faculty of commerce dr arif anjum sir iqsc coordinator dr hamdani rizwana ma'am our physical director professor rizwan khan sir and all the participants i welcome you all now we start the webinar on the ozone day this webinar is organized by the department of geography and iqsc now i would like to call our beloved vice principal dr shakeb ahmed sir to give the welcome note for today's webinar dr shakeb ahmed sir over to you sir thank you abdullah uh on behalf of mgv's art science and commerce college malegaon city i dr shakeb ahmed vice principal of the college welcome all the dignitaries on this program especially uh, our keynote speaker uh, dr rakesh patil sir he is a, a very good uh, fellow of mine also and uh, i hope that uh, today's webinar will be fruitful and the objectives of today's webinar will be attended by this webinar uh, i again welcome on behalf of our uh, management college principal vice principal staff to all the participants here thank you thank you very much for uh, uh, allowing me for this uh, uh, welcome note thank you very much thank you sir over to you abdullah sir thank you very much shakeb sir now i would like to call professor rahim sheikh to give the aims and objectives of today's webinar professor rahim sheikh what to you sir thank you so much abdullah sir a very good a very good afternoon to all mahatma gandhi vidya mandir art commerce science college malaga city should i uh, stop a okay, bit for our i continue should i continue abdullah sir yes sir continue continue okay uh, mahatma gandhi vidya mandir arts commerce science college maligaon city are celebrating its golden jubilee this year so on this uh, celebration we have arranged this webinar on international uh, ozone day so uh, the basic objective of uh, this webinar is to create awareness among the public uh, about the depletion of the ozone layer and the possible solutions we can make uh, to preserve the ozone layer so uh, this webinar uh, is to create awareness uh, to create uh, so we can make uh, activities in the colleges and the societies about uh, tree plantation gardening uh, not to uh, use excessive use of vehicles uh, to control the pollution and uh, not to burn the uh, plastics as well and uh, uh, rubber tires also uh, so uh, which will not pollute the air so uh, also to create awareness about products which have uh, cfcs which harms the ozone layer and to mobilize the political will uh, to protect the ozone layer also to create the awareness among the public about the impacts of uh, depletion of the ozone layer how which uh, it will impact the earth and uh, the ecosystem the crop pattern the uh, diseases on this so Uh, basically uh, this uh, webinar has been arranged for uh, to aware uh, the public about the depletion of the ozone layer and its consequences for the earth system so uh, 
थैंक यू सो मच अब्दुल्ला सर फॉर गिविंग मी अपॉर्चुनिटी टू प्रेजेंट द ऑब्जेक्टिव्स ऑफ टुडेस वेबिनार थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू वेरी मच रहीम सर नाउ इट्स टाइम टू इंट्रोड्यूस आवर ऑनरेबल कीनोट स्पीकर ऑफ टुडेस वेबिनार आई वुड लाइक टू mention that really we are lucky and we are very fortunate that we have among us one of the great personality and in the field of education it's honorable dr rakesh patil sir from pochwati college nashik he has completed his phd and he has a vast experience in the teaching field in the last 15 years sir we are very grateful for to you to spend spend some time with us you uh, you manage some time for us and uh, help us to organize this webinar we are very grateful to you sir your efforts are praiseworthy rakesh patil sir is also as uh, registered as a phd guide in the savitri bai phule pune university sir has a very vast teaching experience an eminent writer and a thinker and a scholar i am very grateful to him that he gave us uh, his precious time for organizing this webinar now i would like to request our keno orerbel keynote speaker to enlighten us with his valuable guidance dr rakesh patil sir over to you sir thank you sir am i audible sir yes sir okay sir uh, first of all i would like to thank the management of uh, mahatma gandhi vidya mandir art science and commerce college malegaon city for arranging such a type of webinar Uh, which is a burning issue and this issue is a world wide issue that is ozone layer depletion in the environment uh, this is the golden jubilee year of uh, malegaon city college and uh, this is also the golden jubilee year of my college that is roknet uh, bentra hire uh, mahavidyalay which is in panchodi nasik so we are in a same boat and we are organizing such a type of webinars and seminars for the students as well as for uh, the society uh, at large so i must congratulate all the faculties the vice principal of the college jake behmat sir the principal of the college hi sir nac coordinator and iqac coordinator uh, dr arif enjum sir uh, who is also the dean of commerce faculty mahatma gandhi vidya mandir uh, both of them are very good uh, friend of mine uh, also the abdullah sir uh, rahim sheikh sir all the faculties of uh, geography department and uh, the hod's of all the departments all the participants and the dear students so uh, this issue is very big issue uh, the ozone layer uh, depletion is one of the biggest uh, challenges in front of the uh, world so uh, there is a presentation that just i want to share with you so whether it is uh, there just see so is the presentation visible sir yes sir okay so uh, the issue that uh, we are going to discuss today is ozone layer depletion so ozone layer depletion is one of the important issue front of the globe as a climatic uh, disaster one may say or climatic problem that we are facing today so what is ozone that we will discuss first so ozone is nothing but a concert, uh, which is one of the gas which is concentrated in uh, one of the layer of the atmosphere that layer we call it as stratosphere there are different layers of atmosphere are the troposphere stratosphere mesosphere thermosphere exosphere so the second most layer of atmosphere is stratosphere so the ozone gas is concentrated uh, near about 15 to uh, 60 km and the width of this uh, ozone gas is just 3 mm and a uh, proportion of this gas if you consider which is 0.0006% in the air so very less percentage of uh, ozone gas is there in the environment in the atmosphere but still its significance is there its importance is there 
If we consider six of ozone gas, so ozone is bluish in color and with foul smell. Uh, one more important thing about ozone is this ozone get form destroyed and reform in stratosphere again. That means whatever the ozone cycle that one can say that is being uh, observed in stratosphere. That means ozone gas get formed in the stratosphere. Again, it get destroyed in the atmosphere, and again it get formed again reform that uh, stratosphere. So that's why uh, there is again one more significance of ozone. Gas. Then the next thing is uh, what is actually the ozone layer is. So ozone is a triatomic form of oxygen. That means three atoms of oxygen uh, that we call it as ozone, which is found in Earth's upper and lower atmosphere again. That means uh, ozone is observed not only in stratosphere, but some part of ozone may be observed near to the Earth's surface. So, which is very dangerous if we consider the ozone which is near to the Earth's surface is dangerous. But if it is at the higher uh, or upper atmosphere, then it will be uh, useful for us, useful for, for environment. So the ozone layer, if you consider, which is situated in the stratosphere about 50 to 30 kilometer above the Earth's surface, and ozone protects living organisms by absorbing harmful ultraviolet radiation that we call it as UVB. Okay. So there are already, if you see the figure nearby, uh, there is a sun, and sun is uh, continuously radiating the rays. Uh, the radiation is reached up to the earth's surface, but before reaching up to the earth's surface, there is one shield, one uh, protecting layer is there that we call it as atmosphere. And through this atmosphere, there are some gases which absorbs this radiation. So ozone is one of the important gas which absorbs the harmful ultraviolet radiation, and especially ultraviolet UV radiation. So the ozone layer is being destroyed by CFCs and other substances. There are some substances uh, such as CFC. CFC that means chlorofluorocarbon. And there are other substances also which are harmful as they break the uh, triatomic form of oxygen. So they make oxygen through it. So that is uh, very dangerous. If uh, this ozone layer, if you see this one, if this ozone layer get destroyed in the atmosphere, then what will happen? The ultraviolet rays, uh, harmful ultraviolet radiation, will reach up to the Earth's surface. That means they may reach up to our sun. Okay, and that will create a problem. Create the problem of global warming also. So ozone depletion progressing globally, except in tropical zone. That means tropical zone may jagatar ozone layer ka depletion ka problem nahi hai, but we are facing the problem in Antarctic or Arctic zone. Uh, what is uh, ultraviolet radiation that we will just consider just uh, within one minute. So ultraviolet radiation is a high energy electromagnetic wave emitted from the sun and it is made up of wavelength ranging from 100 nanometer to 400 nanometer. See, there are, if you see the wavelength or uh, ultra uh, electromagnetic uh, spectrum. So in electromagnetic spectrum, the ultraviolet radiation is observed in between 100 to 400 nanometer wavelengths. So the, within these uh, wavelengths, there are basically three types of ultraviolet uh, rays are observed. Ultraviolet A, ultraviolet B, and ultraviolet C. So UVA, the least dangerous form of UV radiation with a wavelength range between 315 nanometer to 400 and uh, 400. Whereas the most dangerous uh, type of ultraviolet radiation is UVB with a wavelength range between 280 nanometer to 315 nanometer. The UVC, which is the most dangerous between 100 nanometer to 280 nanometer. So UVC is unable to reach our surface due to stratospheric ozone's ability to absorb. So UVC is being get absorbed uh, through the uh, stratosphere. That means because of ozone gas. So how this ozone get formed? So there are basically these natural processes are there. So uh, in the presence of UV rays, the ozone get uh, separated. That means two uh, different atoms of ozone are there. So these get mixed with the single atom of uh, ozone with the 
two uh, atoms of ozone and uh, through these the triangle will form a ozone gate form so this natural process is continuously uh, is in practice in the environment that means in a stratosphere but due to some uh, man made processes also the ozone gate form uh, during the h2o purification that means as you know uh, there are some uh, ro systems are there na reverse osmosis a type of systems that we are using for purification of water so that purification technology is also some sort of ozone is get formed within that and there are some pollutants that also create some sort of uh, ozone gas that means nitrogen dioxide uh, type of uh, uh, pollutants are there uh, what is the importance of this o3 so basically o3 absorbs ultraviolet Uh, rays between 280 to 320 nanometer wavelength so basically this wavelength is very harmful for us as it can create variety of different types of problems such as uh, unprotected animal tissue damage skin cancer reduction of and damage of aquatic life uh, these problems are being faced as because of uv rays so basically uh, ozone is very important in this regard as it absorbs the ultraviolet radiation then uh, who discovered the ozone and its uh, depletion basically the ozone layer depletion is being observed 1974 by the american scientists and they said that cfc is a main destroyer of ozone so cfc as i told you cfc means uh, chlorofluorocarbon okay so this chlorofluorocarbon is very important element Uh, as uh, this is destroying the ozone layer uh, so in 1974 american scientists have discovered this cfc in 1978 uh, the cfc is being banned on spraying in america and europe as they came to know that cfc is destroying ozone so in 1978 uh, the uh, government of uh, usa and european countries they have banned uh, some sort of use of this cfc in genetic for one study was uh, carried out and which recognized that there is a ozone layer hole over antarctica and uh, if uh, this uh, hole is become more and more spread then what will happen more ultraviolet radiation will reach up to the earth surface it will increase the heat of the surface and as you know that over the antarctica which is uh, by ice so ice will get melt and there will be a problem of sea level changes in the uh, environment or in the uh, over the globe so basically that was a basic problem of ozone layer depletion so 30% of ozone layer depletion over small region of antarctica was observed in 1987 this depletion was nearly 50% depletion was there but nowadays this depletion has recovered and uh, the hole is being very much narrow so this problem is being faced previously but now the problem is very much solved but we have to consider very carefully about the use of the chemicals which are destroying the ozone we should not use such a type of chemicals because ozone is very important gas which is very protecting gas that one can say then uh, if you see what are the substances which are responsible for ozone depleting substances that are cfcs that means chlorofluorocarbons hcfcs hydrochlorofluorocarbons are also there halons are there then uh, methyl bromide carbon tetrachloride and methyl chloroform these are the substances chemical substances which are very uh, harmful uh, as they can deplete the ozone gas so after depletion of ozone we have of different problems so what are the causes of ozone layer depletion so basically there are two causes already one i have told you that natural causes are there but we will consider about man made causes so nitrogen content chemical fertilizers such as nitrous oxide supersonic planes rockets and satellite launchings at that time also the exhaust release variety of different uh, types of uh, nitrogen oxides Uh, sulfur dioxide hydrocarbons carbons and all these are depletion of ozone incomplete combustion of fossil fuel 
such as carbon dioxide nitrogen oxides sulfur oxides hydrocarbons they may also react with ozone then disintegration of organic matter such as hydrocarbons released through uh, ammonia ch4 uh, that is also one of the uh, uh, cause for depletion of ozone then nuclear testing cfc man made 90% by us and america then helinus fire extinguisher uh, that is also one of the cause which is depleting the ozone then as i told you uh, hydrochlorofluorocarbons which was uh, which were used by refrigerator and foams before now the use of these hcfcs and cfcs are banned carbon uh, tetrachloride this is one of the dilon uh, for uh, insecticides and paint and drug industries uh, which is used for dilution of variety of different solutions then methyl chloroform is also one of the chemical which is uh, responsible for ozone layer depletion which is used in electronic and metal industry for melting okay so these are some of the causes man made causes uh, as because of variety of different economic activities performed by the man uh, the ozone layer depletion is observed then the natural causes are also there such as volcanic eruption through the volcanic eruption ammonium chloride is carbon dioxide hydrogen sulfide sulfur dioxide such a type of gases they get released they get interact with the ozone and uh, the ozone layer depletion may takes place then intensive uh, sunlight if uh, there is a intensive sunlight then suspended particulate matter that is spm due to high radiation uh, nitrogen oxygen o3 combines to form no and uh, that is also one of the cause of o3 depletion then in uh, 1970 to 4th august uh, 30% ozone depletion was observed but now after that uh, the ozone depletion is being uh, increased but nowadays uh, the increase of ozone is very much uh, limited so this was the situation over the antarctica ozone hole the ozone hole is defined as the area now ozone wa pe hai from the surface of the earth the overhead volume of ozone that is measured in a separate unit that is dobson unit uh, that is between the ground and space uh, the ozone which is present the concentration of ozone is in stratosphere so uh, this figure was about uh, 2000 in the year 2000 uh, the figure is taken by nasa okay then the total ozone on september 29 1997 the combination of low temperatures and elevated chlorine and bromine concentrations are responsible for the destruction of ozone in the upper atmosphere thus forming a hole so what is mean by hole so this is actually the hole is the black color a dark color which is at the this is the hole of ozone and basically which is on a polar region basically okay and as you know the polar region contains ice so that ice will responsible for uh, that means uh, after melting it will responsible for sea level changes so next thing is what are the effects of ozone depletion basically there are uh, different uh, issues or effects are there so first and important issue or effect is climate change or we may say it as a global warming see as ozone depletion is there what will happen the harmful ultraviolet radiation will reach up to the earth surface that means radiation will reach up to earth surface so this radiation will be uh, increasing the temperature of earth surface so indirectly global warming will be there as there is no protection of ozone so the rays of sun will directly reach up to the earth surface they will increase the temperature of our surface so indirectly ozone depletion is uh, also promoting global warming or climate change next thing is ecological changes so it affects on different ecosystems on the earth so uh, it is not just uh, affecting the temperature of the atmosphere or the earth surface but it will affect badly on ecosystem as you know there are variety of different ecosystems are there 
broadly we may categorize it as a terrestrial ecosystem and aquatic ecosystem on both these ecosystems there will be a harmful effect of ozone layer the small ecosystems may get destroyed uh, due to such a type of ozone uh, depletion uh, then it is having the effect of on human health we will discuss in detail after about this the cataracts cancer of skin and lungs then it may have uh, some other effects on human life also uh, such as there will be unprotected animal tissues loss of some useful bacteria that is a big type of bacteria may get destroyed and jaise ke curd banta hai so for that some sort of bacteria are useful but these bacteria will get completely vanished as uh, the ultraviolet will reach up to the earth surface then some small crustaceans crabs frogs salamander such type of small animals aquatic or as well as terrestrial animals will get affected their growth will get affected their reproduction systems will get affected due to the ultraviolet radiation then effects on plant life will also be observed such as decrease growth of photoplankton phytoplankton so phytoplankton is one of the important uh, type of uh, organism or the aquatic uh, water surface as it will be useful for uh, zooplankton to develop and on, on these zooplankton there are different uh, types of uh, animals aquatic animals will get depleted so if phytoplankton will get vanished what will happen zooplankton will not be get uh, developed and after that small fishes or other aquatic animals which are dependent on zooplankton will also cannot survive and uh, from that the aquatic ecosystem will get collapsed so there is also an effect of agricultural sector can also be observed uh, as because of it will get affected as uh, the ultraviolet radiation may uh, get a uh, bad effect on the crop yield or uh, germination of the seeds or other types of several stages of the uh, plants will get affected due to the uh, ultraviolet radiation so this these are some of the effects of ozone layer depletion then the next thing uh, is effects of ultraviolet radiation on biological organism so one may say that dna damage so some sort of animal the small animals or organisms may have the dna change the maximum effect on small and single cell organisms impaired growth and photosynthesis poor crop yield will be there phytoplankton reduce the uptake of co2 mortality and impaired reproduction system then uh, if the nitrogen fixing soil bacteria uh, will get affected they get reduced and damaged then human health effects will also be there suppress the immune system dermatology then uh, ne uh, neoplasia that is cancer then eye related issues will also be there then uh, the next thing is flowering so in flowering if you consider uvb radiation can also for flowering as well as the number of so jaise ke bura asar nazar aata hai par ya usme kuch deformities fir tayar ho jati hai the processing time of sequences for the availability of uh, insects we are uh there which get form or reproduce in a particular period so flowering period is a uh, fixed and during that flowering period the pollinators get reproduce so if flowering uh, may get changed or time of flowering may get changed so it will also affect the pollinators that means the small insects which are dependent on flowers the reproductive parts of plants such as pollens and ovules are well shielded from the solar ultra b, b uh, radiation by the ozone but it will not be protected if uh, ozone layer depletion is there then uvb radiation is still high on the list for the dna and amphibians uh, which is seen around the world so amphibians get affected due to the ultraviolet uh, radiation the from egg to adult so affects growth and development in larvae and which causes they may behave abnormally or there may be a deformities uh, 
mutations uh, may get developed or their DNA structures uh, may get changed. And due to that, some sort of deformity. See the frog, which is having more legs as compared to the regular frog. So these deformities is as because of some ultraviolet radiation. So make amphibians more vulnerable to disease and death. So amphibians may get affected uh, as because of some disease. They may get developed due to this uh, ultraviolet radiation. So in adults, which is causes retinal damage and blindness. Uh, as like our human uh, eyes, the uh, animals may get also some retinal damage and blindness. So such a type of problem animals. So in human health, see, uh, as because of more ultraviolet radiation, so such a type of issues may get developed, such as uh, overexposure may increase risk of, risk of non melanoma and malignant uh, melanoma skin cancer. See, this is the case of not malignant and this is malignant. These are the type of cancers that get developed uh, on the uh, skin of the human being as because of ultraviolet radiation. So higher risks of malignant melanoma from severe sunburns, especially in childhood. Then risk of malignant melanoma has increased 10% as because of uh, this uh, ultraviolet radiation. The risk of non-malignant melanoma has increased by 26%. See, the malignant melanoma and non-malignant melanoma, both of cancer, skin cancer, and basically the percentage has been increased by ultraviolet radiation. Uh, the malignant melanoma has increased, the melanoma has increased 26%. So, uh, both these are very dangerous one and that can create the uh, skin related issues, skin problems of the human being. Then overexposure may also suppress the immune system, immune system of human being. Uh, immune system, the use or uh, the importance of immune system, everybody knows the immune system, what is immune system and what is its importance. But in the overexposure of ultraviolet, will have the problem of uh, the immune system, suppress of immune system. So, which may accelerate aging of skin due to high exposure. So, skin related problems. See the figure here. The hands of the person uh, is a young person, but still the hands uh, uh, is observed such as very old person's hand because aging of skin is observed as because of ultraviolet radiation. The cause of over of rash in fair skin people due to photo allergy can be severe. Not among us, but in the foreigners who are having uh, fair skin, they may have more problems of ultraviolet radiation. Okay, The fair skin people, they may develop a photo allergy. That means photo allergy, that means uh, the rays allergy, radiation allergy. Wo jada light sehen nahi kar Okay, so this is because of overexposure of ultraviolet radiation. Then um, manifestations of cataracts, cancer, uh, pterygium, this type of uh, some eye related problems make it develop as because of ultraviolet B radiation. So ozone is protecting us from all such type of eye related issues. If ozone is not there, then we will we may develop such a type of things in young people. People also. We may know that cataracts are uh, very common to the old persons, but this may get developed in the young people, the children also, if ultraviolet radiation is there. So such a type of dangerous type of eye-related issues may get developed. The eye cancer is also one of the cause of uh, ozone. Then what are medial solutions over this? So on 16th of treaty, and that treaty recorded as the Montreal Protocol. And during this treaty, uh, they decided to uh, control the uh, pollution or decided to control the use of some material possible for the depleting of ozone. A particular day is celebrated as ozone 
that means in 1994 said to designate september 16 as world ozone day as nations member nations of the environmental treaty so ozone uh, layer depletion is also one of the important environmental problem and uh, the use Added red sea and ozone layer. Uh, there are some nations which develop uh, the promise to cut global CO2 consumption 50 percent by 1999. That means in 1999 they have uh, cut down. Uh, there was a promise of United Nations members of United Nations that they may cut down the use of CFC. By fifty uh, percent by nineteen ninety nine, and this has happened. The uh, use of CAC is much lower now. So Google spotted after chlorine addition here. So chlorine is one of the important gas also, which is uh, also responsible for depleting of ozone in the upper atmosphere. So as because of several steps which were put forward by several mem member countries of United Nations. and uh, the countries which are protecting the environment so as because of all these efforts one may say that the ozone layer is now much depleted so images of antarctica taken indicate a slow recovery of uh, the ozone hole so 10 years of ozone hole monitoring by geome and sky map may result like this so nowadays this ozone is much reduced but still there is again one problem is that uh, we are using variety of different chemicals variety of different substances day by day the use of substances the chemicals or the gases is increasing and we are also facing the problem such as bacterial viral growth so after some time there may be other substances the use of other substances may reduce the uh, ozone layer in the upper atmosphere and will create a problem If ozone, if it is in the upper atmosphere, that is not a problem. But if ozone is formed or the lower atmosphere, then that time it is very harmful. As you know, the ozone is absorbing the ultraviolet radiation. That means it is absorbing heat. So if the ozone is observed over the uh, lower atmosphere, that means over the near to the earth, then what will happen? uh it will absorb heat so ultimately the heat of lower atmosphere or the surface atmosphere will get increased and that heat will promote the global warming and we you know the issues of global warming what are the issues of global warming are so due to global warming the sea level changes this is one of, one of the important issue that one has to consider as uh, you know that Uh, in antarctica so the very big icebergs are collapsing and they are reducing the ice caps are reducing and uh, the glaciers are issue from where the river ganga originated which is think a lot so ozone at the lower atmosphere is contributing for these things so we have to control the ozone formation over the lower part of our atmosphere see ozone is good at the upper atmosphere that means it is in a stratosphere but if it is in lower atmosphere it is very bad for us so uh, we have to consider all these issues while considering the ozone layer depletion so ozone is also protecting us uh, from a variety of different diseases and uh, which is also protecting the ecosystems which are there in the atmosphere see our biodiversity i environmental biodiversity is the so this biodiversity is being protected by this uh, ozone layer if ozone is not there what will happen the ultraviolet rays will reach up to the earth surface they will destroy the ecosystems the ecosystem uh, organisms they, they may get destroyed as well this thing uh, ozone layer depletion so we have to consider in that way also so uh, 
there are some efforts need to be continued to create reliable models to gain a better understanding of the effects of ozone depletion uh, on organisms living within the different ecosystem enforcement of montreal protocol to to reduce concentration of chemicals responsible for ozone layer depletion there should be a monitoring chemicals being emitted uh, that means the there may be a monitoring so which chemicals are emitted in the atmosphere which should be banned which gases should be banned all that should be monitored carefully and gain a better overall understanding on just how ozone depletion is affecting our planet so now it's our responsibility now the students responsibility or the teachers responsibility to create awareness about this ozone gas and its importance so that uh, we may not use the chemicals which are responsible for um, creating the pollution in the atmosphere so this is pollution in the, our environment and uh, the related causes and effects of it uh so thank you thanks a lot for giving me the opportunity to express my views related with uh, ozone layer depletion i am uh, very much thankful to the organizing committee of mahatma gandhi vidya mandir's art science and commerce college maligao city for organizing such a type of webinar i must congratulate the vice principal principal of the college the iqsc coordinator of the college and the faculty of geography Uh, for arranging such a type of seminar, if you have, may ask. Thank you, Mr. Paul. Thank you very much, sir. You have shared a very informative session with us. We are very grateful to you. Uh, now, I would like to call Professor Zain. Thanks for today's webinar, Professor Zain Nas. What do you mean? Okay. Honorable Principal of MGV Arts Commerce Science and Maligao City, our beloved Vice Principal Dr. Shakib Ahmed, Dean of the Commerce Department Dr. Anjum Sir, IQS Dani Ma'am, Academic Coordinator Dr. Mubi Nazir Ahmed Sir, all the participants and our distinguished distinguished guests of the today's program, Dr. Rakesh Vasanth Rao Patil Sir. from panchavati college nasik good afternoon to everybody i feel immensely proud today to present word of the word of thanks on the behalf of our college on the world ozone day which is celebrated for spreading the awareness among the people about the depletion of ozone layer and to search for the some possible solution to preserve it here i would like to show my gratitude to our invited guest dr rakesh vasanth rao patil sir that he has spared his valuable time for us and grace his program and uh, we got benefited for your informative lecture sir i would like to uh, in, i would like to mention my deepest uh, gratitude to hc hale sir and vice principal dr shakib ahmed and dr anjum uh, sir that they have allowed us to organize such program at the last i would like to thanks to all the hods of the departments and organizing committee especially special thanks to dr daniel uh, daniel sir abdullah daniel sir and all the participants who have participated in this program thank you so much once again aaj nahi aa rahi hai ye uthaye धनियाल सर आपका वॉल्यूम ऑफ है थैंक यू वेरी मच जरीन मैम नाउ आई वुड लाइक टू डिक्लेयर द एंड ऑफ द प्रोग्राम विद दिस वोट ऑफ थैंक्स थैंक यू वेरी मच टू अवर अगेन फॉर अवर की नोट स्पीकर डॉक्टर राकेश पाटिल सर थैंक यू वेरी मच सर फॉर बींग विद अस एंड मेक दिस प्रोग्राम मोर सक्सेसफुल थैंक यू सर एंड थैंक यू राकेश पाटिल सर इट्स अ नाइट सेशन सर थैंक थैंक यू थैंक थैंक्स यू थैंक्स अ लॉट सर ओके as because of your yes, so wishes sir basically yeah 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 definitely sir definitely okay okay shall i leave sir yes sir yes sir good good day sir okay sir have a nice day and same